Ooh, it's messy. Mm, mm, mm. Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fork and Fly. Today we'll be making some chicken tacos and some of the ingredients that y'all need are onions. I prefer my onions sliced, not really diced. I like the crunch of the onions in my tacos. Next, I have some Italian zucchini. I prefer bite-sized pieces when it comes to this. professional chef or cutter. I still would love to take some cutting classes. Next we have some peppers. I had some leftover red peppers and green peppers. You can use any color peppers that you want honestly. You can use orange peppers, yellow peppers. It's totally up to you. I use what I had on hand. As you can see, now I have a new set of red and green peppers. in your tacos or peppers in general do you like peppers and if so what's your favorite pepper red peppers green peppers yellow peppers orange peppers yellow peppers I'm not too picky if there's a seed here and there I know some people remove all the seeds. Um, if it goes in my dish, I'm fine. gonna go back and look over some of the zucchini and cut them a little smaller to my preference like I said I like more of a bite-sized piece because it is a taco and you don't want huge pieces in your taco <laughs> to a pan I'm putting some oil in it and I'm also gonna put some butter in it uh, I prefer butter because it gives flavor, but you know butter browns faster. So when you add oil, it kind of slows up the process for the butter to brown. For temperature settings, we have it on a high heat. Those of y'all who have an electric stove top, mines go from one to nine, nine being the highest. So actually I have this on a eight. Seven, I believe, on mine is too low. Eight is just right. Nine is really, really hot. So I have it on a setting of eight. 
Now you want to let your butter and oil heat up and then add all your vegetables to the pan. Continue to stir. Make sure everything is coated in the oil and butter so it can cook evenly. And this takes about less than 10 minutes to make. Right now I'm adding my seasoning. I prefer pepper. I don't like to use salt. So I put pepper and then maybe other seasonings. Right now I have this Georgia seasoning from Trader Joe's. It gives it a garlicky, spicy taste. And this also has salt in it. So that's another reason why I don't use straight salt. If I was to use salt, it'll be sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. Once you season your vegetables, give that a coat so everything is tossed in the seasoning. You want to add your chicken. The type of chicken that I'm using, you can use either the frozen pre-packaged chicken and I let it sit out for a few so it's not frozen. Or if you have any leftover cooked chicken, you can add this to your stir fry. Also, if you choose, you can do raw chicken. If you do raw chicken, then you will cook that first and then add your veggies to the raw chicken. And then I'm just adding some soy sauce. I live in Mexico, so the soy sauce that I found, it has lime in it, which I like it. It gives it another, you know, taste that adds to your taco. I'm separating the vegetables so I can add some chopped garlic to it. It's fresh chopped garlic. If you have the ready minced garlic in the jar, you can definitely use that. I just have a lot of garlic cloves on here. Let that cook up a little bit and then you want to give it a stir. It smells so good. Like it smells good just with the vegetables and stuff, but once you add that garlic and it's like cooking in the soy sauce, oh, it smells so good. Right now, my stir fry is done. I'm just scraping down the ends to get the excess stuff and I'm gonna place it to the side. In another pan, I sprayed some cooking spray and I'm going to add the tortillas on this and just let it heat up. I like to put the tortillas on and then turn it around so it's coated in the spray. Take your filling and put it down, not in the middle, but on one edge of the tortillas because you're gonna fold the other edge. If you want this to be fully keto, then omit the tortillas and add them to some salad wedges or romaine. So good. One side was cooked and now I'm flipping it so the other side can get brown. And here we go. We are plating our chicken tacos. So good, smells so good, so hot. <laughs> And one thing that I discovered while being here in Mexico is crema. I've always had dishes with crema on it, but I've never actually bought it myself. And adding this to my tacos, it brings it up a notch. As you can see, I didn't add no cheese in it. The crema does it justice, and these are so delicious. As always, thank you for watching my channel. Mm.
When you get a chance, subscribe, comment, and like. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.